Mark and Paulette here, the two travelers in Mexico, and the thumbnail lied just a little bit about getting stoned well, in Mexico. I think we did get stoned in Mexico. That's true. It's probably not what they think, not though. No. That no, kind of no. stoned. Maybe 45 years ago, possibly, <laughs> but not now. Supposedly, we're older and wiser. Uh, I don't know about the wiser part, but we're definitely older. So, um, yes, we did get, what did we do? You tell them what we did. We decided to get our house um, a facade look with the stone. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason that we did that is because a year after living here, not even a year, and maybe like I, we talked about before, maybe the prep work just wasn't done correctly, right. is what I'm thinking by the workers. Of when they painted the outside of our house after we bought it. Uh, it started chipping and peeling and cracking and all yeah. that stuff. And yeah, I think the sun is a little bit more intense here in Mexico. Yeah. But um, with that said, you know, my friend Wayne, he calls it uh, cancer on the walls. You know, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's that, like it starts peeling, it starts getting that grayish effect and and like holes in the the paint on the side of the walls. Mm -hmm. um, anyhow, we just didn't want to deal with that. Uh, yeah. So we took the easy way out and the expensive way out. And that was, of course, picking the most expensive stone that the store had. Mm -hmm. um, but we really liked the effect. Our house, as you've seen pictures before, is pretty modern on the inside. And so, you know, we wanted the arches, we wanted, I don't know what you call those ceilings, the stone ceilings and different things like that. Unfortunately, we didn't get no, that. We got none of that. In this none house. of that. So we're trying to bring a lot of that Mexican flair into our house mm -hmm. uh, because it is so modern. Mm -hmm. uh, and the outside, I love it when we walk around historical areas, you know, in central areas where you just see the the old colonial look yeah stone walls and stuff so yeah it has another name to it what do they call it that look it's got another name also don't know you you do know you do know you've called it that before on how they make the architect look with all the stone back then like a hundred years plus ago all right yeah, well he's on the spot he can't remember I don't know the name of it. I know that he's talked about it many times. Um, so we decided to go ahead and do this. And uh, we picked a good time before the rains were coming, yeah. although it did rain several times while they were here. But I tell you what, they brought good luck every time that like it would rain the night before, sprinkle in the morning. And then when they got here, it turned into blue skies. The weather before the workers arrived the weather as the workers arrived. And they were able to work for the most part, Yeah, I it was say. amazing. As soon as they show up, the skies would clear and it'd be yeah, a nice like, day. Yeah, like, the skies open up. Yeah. Um, and so we just went ahead and did that. It took them about 10 days. Uh, yeah. That's what I have written down on the calendar anyhow. 10 working days. Ten, well, Saturday is a working day here in That's Mexico. True, yeah. It's just they took Sundays off. Yeah. So it took them about 10 days to do, and we'll show you the pictures before, the pictures after. Mm -hmm. We normally don't show pictures of our house, but we're kind of making an exception this time yeah. so that you guys can get the yeah. whole effect. So We just wanted to make our house look old. No, not that kind of old, but more colonial in appearance. Right, since like I said, we do like that look when we're in central and historical areas. We wanted to bring that onto our home. And then this way also, we don't have to worry about having the house repainted and cracking and all that stuff if we get workers that don't do it right. Um, you know, I know in the United States, you would paint your house maybe every 10 years, something yeah. like that on the outside. Uh, but the sun is more intense. Yeah. Uh, and talking to some of my friends that live here, it's like about every two years. Uh -huh. So that's kind of crazy. And yeah. I don't want to deal with that cracking and the chipping and just that ugly look. So 
that's what we decided to do. And then moisture gets into it and causes the paint to chip and peel off sometimes too. But So we just decided to fix that issue permanently. Right. So, so we did this. Just kidding. And now to complete the look, I just need to get Paulette to agree to let me install a fire-breathing gargoyle. Maybe not. As Paula said, we picked out some pretty expensive stone. It was, it was the most expensive there, I think. Well, or one um, of the most expensive. Yeah, there was a more expensive stone. But they, they had this um, building um, that had the stone on it. It was their um, baños for outside. And we kept passing by it, and I absolutely loved mm -hmm. it. And we looked at the other stone and stuff, but I don't know. Mike Mark said if we pick something different, uh, he wouldn't be happy. He would always be thinking about this stone. So yeah. we decided to go ahead and splurge. Yeah. And what did it end up costing us? So for 40 square meters of stone, what it took to cover the front of our house, we paid 63,000 pesos, which in U.S. dollars is about 3,150 U.S. dollars. And then the labor ran us another 33,000 pesos, so that was about 1,600 and fifty dollars so all in all probably right around in the forty eight hundred dollar range US. which is a lot four thousand eight hundred is a lot for here yeah but still would have been more expensive in the u.s to do this kind of work yeah i'm sure yeah. that but um like i said we just wanted a fix we wanted um to not have to deal with all that pain issue and this was an easy way to do it plus we absolutely love the stone yeah absolutely yeah another thing i wanted to say is many of you i think in our last video we talked about me getting a haircut and i did get a haircut but i'm happy to report i'm still man bun free <laughs> as many of you suggested that i should do and he didn't go real short no i didn't go real short and um, what was your haircut how much 100 pesos plus a 20 peso tip so, so six bucks out the door yeah six bucks out and the, the guy did did a great job too yeah so, so he didn't he didn't like i said take a whole lot off but mm -hmm. enough enough i think yeah so i have one other question for you guys is this too much sexy to be showing off whatever she's not a good judge of style so, as always, from so what? <laughs> the I don't know what you're two from travelers. the travelers. I'll do it. As always, from the two travelers in Mexico. What she did. Bye, guys. Bye.